All right, hello and welcome back to another video. Um, today's gonna be part four of the tray build, the final part, we're just painting it. Um, we're gonna put some guards on it. Um, we'll paint it, put it on the car, and we'll put some guards on it. Guards probably won't be here till next week, so I won't upload part four until I get the guards. Um, but yeah, so at the moment, I would have seen at the end of part three, give us a quick update. That's black, um, edge is a little bit white, back is decks white. Now I'm going to go to Bunnings, um, I need to get a drop sheet so I don't paint this grass again like I did when I painted the guards for the car. Um, and I need to get a couple cutting discs to cut a little piece of check blade on the back. Um, and a little bit more primer because we're not going to have enough primer to do the other side. Because um, they run out pretty quick these cans but they do spray nicely so it's like, it's on depends of what, if it's good or not. But I think we have enough colour, we just don't have enough primer. So. Gonna go there, get drop sheet, get some primer, get some cutting discs, um, and yeah. Okay, so we have it flipped over, ready to do the bottom. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give it a quick sand, and I mean a quick sand, it's not gonna try and be anything special. Um, but yeah, just gonna give it a quick sand, maybe help flatten some of these little pieces like this out, that's all. Um, and then I'm gonna prime it, put a coat of primer, and all that first coat of primer, dryers, i just got to cut this little edge off here, um, prime the back of this obviously, chuck another coat of primer on it, see how much I have, I should have enough to do two coats I think, um, and then after that we'll start to paint it, so we'll mask it up and then paint it anyway, um, so yeah, we'll get into that. And so there you have it, our Nardo grey tray. Um, I'm going to start masking it up. I want to let it dry a little bit more, but this dries freaking super quick. So um, the back of this line obviously isn't going to be perfect, but uh, it's, I'm happy with how it looks. So um, yeah, it's going to start masking it up and get it ready to put some paint on it. Okay, so probably didn't even really need to mask it up too much just because um, we're doing white first, the black will cover it, but I thought the white's going to be pretty thick on the edges if I don't put the tape, so it might actually change a little bit of the colour of the black underneath, it might end up looking funky, so taped it around the edges, um, now I'm probably going to not have enough tape to tape it up once I go to paint it black, but yeah, we'll see how we go anyway with that. Um, but yeah, now it's going to start putting the white on, first coat. Okay, so that's the first coat of white done. I'm going to do a couple coats of um, white on here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it dry for 20 minutes or so, um, and then put another coat, let it dry for another 20 minutes or so, and put another coat, um, and then we'll let it dry for an hour, um, just so we have enough to um, be able to put the tape on there without ripping the paint off. Um, so yeah, hopefully we should have enough time today to get it painted, but yeah, we're just going to let it dry now and I won't put all the other coats in, so I'll see you in about two or three hours when we're ready to start taping it up for the black. Alright, so actually, I don't know if this is a great idea or not with the wind, but I'm going to actually just start painting the middle of here so it'll make my process a little bit quicker. Um, so I've got something to do while I let that white dry a little bit. Um, if it does blow it at all, then I'm just going to stop, but, um, yeah. Alright, 
so now we're two coats of white down one center coat of black um, it did get a bit of white over it but luckily we're going to be putting another coat on there anyway um, but yeah basically I'll just skip to when we're masking the white up now which will probably be in about two hours so all right so it's day two um, of painting the tray I'm going to start taping it up now taping the white up hopefully I have enough tape but um, we'll see how we go with it Alright, so you would have seen me mask it all up um, and then I end up painting it, camera died because um, I didn't put it on charge last night. Um, so I put a coat on it and then I put a quick coat, like a second rough coat over the top of it um, and I coated the tailgate part twice. Now I've got about a can left so I'm just going to use the rest of that can. I'm going to do this tailgate part first so it's a consistent one colour. Whereas this is already a bit patchy in spots, so um, can't really do too much about it. So I'm going to use do that and then use the rest of the can, just going over that as much as I can. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just let it dry and that's going to be it. We can put it onto the ute then, so yeah. <laughs> So, tray is painted. Um, I do wish I had taped it up a bit more on the headboard and stuff because I'll show you. How. I know, yeah, you can see in the camera that that's where I taped it and that's where it's not. It's got a little bit of overspray on it. Um, so, I wish I taped that up a little bit better, but it's a bit late for that now. Um, but other than that, this back part does look a bit funny because it's not straight because. The metal is cut different and I just kind of tried to tape it along the bottom of the metal. Um, but yeah, it's not perfect, but it looks alright. Um, I mean, yeah. So now we just let that dry um, and then we'll put it on the ute and put the tail lights and stuff on it, which I'll probably be putting in the video next. And then we wait until probably next week, hopefully, the guards come and we'll paint those and put those on, so, yeah. Alright, so, tray is on. We just need to put one more of these bolts through, um, but I don't have a washer for it. So, just to be able to go to Bunnings and grab some washers, but basically, I put this rubber bit um, between it like that, so that when we're for driving or whatever and the tray's flexing it's less chance of actually snapping our welds because that actually has a little bit of a play in it um, and then yeah just put a washer at the top and washer at the bottom um, which I'm gonna go get washers that's why the bolts aren't on there but apart from that we need to put our fuel cap up here and um, put the lights back in so go to Bunnings and I'll get some washers and then I'll skip to putting the lights back in because um, yeah, can't really do too much else. Alright, so lights are all in. It looks um, a lot better actually with lights and stuff in there. Now I just got to wire them all up. Um, no, I won't video that because it's going to take a while. And I'm going to put silicon along that edge there just because the gap's pretty big. So I put silic black silicon along there. Um, and I'll put my homemade guards and stuff on for now. But um, yeah, I might just skip to when my real guards come. So yeah, see so in a week or so probably. Alright, so I'll try and um, cover the wind noise. But basically, the tray's been getting used for the last two weeks. So it's nice and dirty. and um, well used but as you can see finally got our guards after I don't know three weeks or so they finally came um, so now I'm going to unwrap them and then we'll paint them and put them on the car so probably paint them today and put them on tomorrow
All right, so here they are, um, fused fab guards. The only shit thing was they took forever to come, but they do look pretty good. Um, now I'm gonna paint them with the same paint as I painted the tray with. Um, they do come in a um, powder coat of black for an extra 50 bucks if you want it, but it takes even longer um, and I didn't want to wait. I didn't think I'd be waiting for three weeks. I had to wait for these ones. Um, but yeah, uh, so now start chucking some primer on them and paint them. Hopefully we can do paint today and then tomorrow Arvo will bolt them up. Not a top-notch paint job, but hopefully it looks a little bit better than the lines in that when it dries. Um, but I just made the face pretty much nice, um, and then I tried to just put a bit extra on the pieces that you're going to see. Like I said, these little bits don't have enough for. I thought one can would be enough, but obviously not. Um, but might end up doing another coat further down the line. For now I'm just going to leave it like that and let it dry um, so that I can put them on. But another thing is, at the moment I have this just screwed on here. I'm going to have to move it forward. I'm hoping I have enough room just to move it forward and it's still screwed in the same way I have it. But if not, we'll have to figure something else out. Alright, so like I said, guards are dry. I've dr already drilled holes. I kind of forgot about the video for a sec. Already drilled some holes um, now I just need to put it on and drill one there and probably one there somewhere there's just the one rail underneath here that I'm gonna put them in um, just five tech screws to hold it up and also I had to jack the car up a little bit just to fit drill in there because drill is too big for the gap between the 